Good morning students. Today in this video we are going to learn about singular, plural and collective nouns. So nouns can be singular and plural as well. So a noun can refer to one or more than one person, place or thing. A noun that names one person, place, animal or thing is called a singular noun. For example, a ball, a tree, a house. A noun that names more than one person, animal, place or thing is called a plural noun. For example, balls, trees, houses. So most words make plural by adding s or es at the end. For example, mat becomes mats simply by adding s at the end. Mango becomes mangoes simply by adding es at the end. Words that end with a consonant plus y change the y to i and add es to make plurals. For example, story becomes stories. So the consonant here is r plus y. So y has been replaced by i and es has been added to the end. So story becomes stories. Baby becomes babies. B a b i e s. Words that end with f plus a vowel change the f to v and add es to make plural. For example, knife becomes knives. So f has been replaced by v and es has been added at the end so knife becomes knives k n i v e s wife becomes wives now let's come to collective nouns some special noun have a special name when they are in a group for example a group of cows is called a herd a group of birds is called a flock a group of ants is called an army so a collective noun is a word used to name a group of people animals or things for example a bunch of keys a pack of wolves a grove of trees a range of mountains so that's all for today's video thank you